Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our data logging with our Haltech ESP software. So we're going to be finding we have two different types of data logging that we can do. We have our PC logging, and that's going to be where we actually take our data log with our laptop connected to our Haltech. And then we have our onboard logger, and that's going to be where we can data log with our laptop not hooked up to our Haltech unit. And that's going to allow us to store that data under racing conditions. So once we come back into the pits from the racetrack, we can retrieve that data and then we can read it. So we're going to be finding we have both of these data logging types that we need to work with. I'm going to be showing you how to set up both and all the very specific details we need to know in order to download the data logs and save the data logs and even panning back through the data logs. So we're going to be looking at that basic functionality in our ESP software. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our data logging in our Haltech. Now, data logging is going to allow us to capture any of the sensor inputs or the outputs or what a table is reading, if it's uh, sourcing fuel or ignition timing. It's going to be telling us all of the relevant information, and data logging is an invaluable tool for not only tuning but for diagnostic purposes. So we want to understand how to data log. We're going to be using it heavily in our tuning process. So we have to understand that there's two different ways we can data log. The first way is going to be using our actual laptop here. We're going to be using a PC logger. If we use this data manager, we go down here, PC logger. This is going to be able to start and stop data logs and save them from our laptop. This is going to be useful if we're on the dyno, if we're uh, doing maybe some road tuning. Uh, we have our laptop hooked up. This is going to be the, the, the probably the most uh, ideal way to data log. If you're going to be in racing conditions where you're not going to have your laptop in your vehicle, your Haltech, depending on what model you have, uh, is going to most likely have an onboard data logger. And that's going to store the data onto the onboard logger, and then you can retrieve it at a later point in time, so after you come off the racetrack. That way you don't have to have your laptop in the vehicle, and it can record very specific channels that you ask it to record. Now, logging is relatively simple. There is some things that we need to know. We're going to be going over those right now. So our PC logger is going to be the way that you most likely are going to be doing the majority of your data logging. And it's what I use probably 90% of the time I'm working with my Haltech system. We find down here, data manager, PC logger. This is going to be where we're going to be doing our logging from in our actual laptop or PC that we're using. We're going to be seeing that we have a couple different things we can click. Playback is grayed out. We don't have a data log taken already. We can see that we're showing an empty status because we haven't went in and uh, recorded anything yet. We're going to see under options, we have a record, a stop, playback, setup, clear, export to. We're going to be looking at this in a second. We're going to be seeing we have a record button and then a stop button. Now the stop button is grayed out because we don't have a data log started or recording, so we don't have anything to stop. This is going to be the time that it's going to be showing us in milliseconds how long it's actually been recording for. 